Okay, y'all, I'm back. <laughs> if you watched the first part of the video, I guess you could call this part two. I wanted to make sure I gave you all the signs of trauma bonding. Because remember, my phone was tweaking. So I said, I was going to come back and give y'all the signs. So I'm going to start with one and go all the way to seven. So, you know, hopefully you're ready. So these are signs of trauma bonding in a relationship, friendship, anything to end with a ship. Number one, this is really relationship, though, for most of y'all. The first stage, number one, love bombing. They shower you with uh, excessive love, flattery, and expressions and appreciation in order to uh, gain your attention and your love, basically, and affection. Two, trust and dependency. I have to get you to trust me, baby. Depend on me. Trauma bonding. Pete game. Are you a victim? You got to ask yourself. They do everything to win you when you when you trust over and make you um, depend on them heavily for love and validation. Does this person make you depend on them for love and validation? Number three, criticism. They gradually start criticizing you. They blame you for things and become more demanding. Your fault. Your fault. Your fault. Sign number three now. You, you was getting love bomb. Number four, gaslighting. <laughs> When things go wrong, they tell you that it's your fucking fault, okay? They make you doubt your own uh, perceptions and manipulate your ass. You, um, They manipulate you into believing their narrative. So basically, I, they, they make you believe whatever the fuck they believe. All right. That was number four. Now, number five. Resigning to, resigning to control. You no longer know what to believe, but your only way of experiencing or expressing the good feelings of the stage is I give, I, it's, I got, <clears throat> I, wait, by giving in or doing things their way. So, the, so basically back to stage one. So it says, so make sure I read it right to you. You no longer know what to believe, but you only, the only way of experiencing the good feelings of stage one, which is the love bomb. Is by giving in and doing things their way. So you want stage one to come back. So you start to give in and do things their way. Stage number six, loss of control. When you fight back, things get worse. You settle for anything to have some peace and make the fight stop. You lose all your confidence in this situation. That's stage six. Stage seven. Mm, that's deep. Spirit was just telling me something. I'm sorry, y'all. I got a download. Okay. I heard you, Spirit. Addictions. You get addicted to the highs and the lows. Your body is on a constant like caliber of stress, and it craves um, pleasure. This creates a cycle of dependency that feels a lot like a drug addiction, which is why they call it love bombing. Oh, I'm on one of them. All right, y'all. That was that was the seven. This video ain't supposed to be that long. That's why it's three minutes. Don't let nobody love bomb you. Don't do that tra the traumatic trauma shit. It's toxic. All right. Click love and like. Subscribe. I'm finna do tarot. All right, y'all. I'm gonna be serious with y'all for today. We'll talk about it. I stood my date up last night. I'm a Sagittarius. Petty as hell. Alright, y'all, I gotta go. I gotta go mess with these teenagers. See you guys next time. Bye.